So if you've been hearing of this ozone therapy out there and you've been wanting to get started with this or just wanting some more information, you know, number one, don't be intimidated by this. Ozone therapy is actually very simple to utilize as a home therapy and some of the wonderful benefits that it brings are everything from oxygen utilization, uh, immune increase, um, even mitigating oxidative stress within the body. It's something that I utilize on a daily basis. So number one, I don't want you to be intimidated. There are a few essentials that you'll actually need to get started. So I'm gonna go through those with you so that you have a better understanding. Anytime that you're doing ozone therapy at home, you're gonna need, number one, a tank. Um, so you have an oxygen tank that you can get at a Praxair or an air gas or a welding supply company. Very simple to obtain, very easy. You need an ozone generator. Um, an ozone generator that you may get may look a little bit different than this, but this is an ozone generator just for reference. You're gonna see that it has a concentration uh, chart that helps to navigate any type of protocol that you would utilize and you can actually check that down in the link below. Uh, but also for utilization, it's where do I apply this? How do I use it? And how can I use it for the rest of my life to increase my own vitality? Well, let's say that we have ear issues. So accessories that go onto the generator for, for use can be, if you have ear issues or sinus uh, allergy type things, we have ear encephalation devices. We have uh, nasal cannulas that we can actually do boo, which is you know bubbling ozone uh, through oil and so that can actually be breathed in helps with lung type conditions we have limb bagging for for open wounds or for wound care for upper extremities lower extremities cupping for wounds that can't actually fit specifically on a limb um, there are so many different types of ways that you can utilize ozone to increase your vitality and your health. So if you want more information, check the information below and uh, we'll make sure that we can help you get that. My story personally, uh, I'm a chiropractor by trade. I have owned and operated a couple different medical clinics, uh, integrated chiro clinic, um, a regenerative medicine center. Uh, I've done a tremendous amount of different therapies ranging from ozone therapy to uh, structural tissue products, PEMP therapies, red light therapy, IV infusions, uh, you name it, I've probably worked with it, utilized it, and helped develop protocols within that. And um, I got into this uh, because of my wife. Back uh, in early 2000, man, it was almost 2012, you know, we were diagnosed, uh, myself, my wife, and my oldest with Lyme disease. Uh, most people don't realize that, that my son and I were also diagnosed at the same time, but, um, but that was a turning point uh, in our lives. We we were dealing with bouts of sickness, especially with my son, which is why we went and got tested and, and to see what was going on. And uh, we went through some rounds of antibiotics. Uh, my wife couldn't because she was actually pregnant at the time. And so um, my son and I were, were doing okay. You know, that's what we knew at the moment was antibiotics for Lyme disease. And looking back now, there are so many other tools in, in the belt that, that we could have utilized, but that's what we had. And um, my wife ended up giving birth to uh, Tristan, our third, and which is why she wasn't able to go through any sort of treatment that we knew of at the time. And three months uh, after he was born, we were actually getting ready to go on a vacation to Florida. And I'm walking down the hallway with my oldest and my wife collapses to the floor. She couldn't walk. At first, I didn't know why. Uh, I just picked her up got her in the car and drove her to the doctor, the doctor that had diagnosed with Lyme. And I said, I don't know if this is what it is, but she literally can't walk. And, um, and that's kind of where my journey from a chiropractic physician uh, to where I am today started because we went down uh, the tr traditional medical route, uh, antibiotics. My wife was on over a hundred pills. It went from just do these antibiotics and inject these to um, and her not being able to walk to within two weeks, her having violent seizures every single day. She had uh, what's called neuro Lyme. Uh, she couldn't read. Lights would put her into seizures. Sound would put her into seizures. The children couldn't come in. Our bedroom became the dark room. We called it the cave. Uh, we had a four foot by six foot whiteboard that laid out every schedule, every medication, every supplement, every meal that she had to take. We had people come in to help us. We had a three month old and two older kids and our lives were completely flipped upside down. We didn't know what to do, but I'm a fixer, <laughs> which um, is uh, not necessarily always what you need, but I'm a fixer, so I dove into research. Um, in fact, I should say this, before I dove into the research, I just listened to what I thought the experts knew. 
Um, I did everything to the T from the antibiotics to the supplements to all these things. And there came a point where I, my wife and I, we had to keep thinking like, there's gotta be something different because we'd have so many ups and downs. And, um, and so, so we started researching and I started looking because I mean, I lost my wife. Um, for the most part, she was pretty much on death's bed almost every single day. She would have seizures for hours on end and then be in a coma like state for hours on end. Um, and I was trying to live as a father and a husband and, and owning my own clinic and trying to run this. And, and I just couldn't anymore. And so I started researching and I came across, um, stem cell therapy is, is what at the time that that was the main thing and, uh, regenerative therapies. And I started to dive into that and, uh, we ended up, um, switching courses and, and changing therapies. We got off of everything. My wife was on everything from fentanyl to, sleeping medications. I mean, you name it, she was on it and yet nothing was getting better. And you're probably sitting there thinking, well, yeah, no duh. We didn't. Trust me. You don't know until you're in the moment, like, cause you will do anything to save the life of the one that you love. And, and I didn't care what it was. I was doing it to try to save her for my children, for me, for our family. And, um, but, but God created a transition and, and opened up some doors that we didn't even think that we could have. And so, we left that we stopped cold turkey and everything and and i started researching everything from ozone therapy to regenerative medicine and um, i can tell you all the things that typically we think are good like high dose vitamin c and things like that we're like we're gonna do this and it would put her into a seizure or to reaction the things that we know that are beneficial and so we had to do everything very very slowly again regenerative medicine uh, we started doing some iv infusions on her and I have a video of this, which was amazing, is one day we're sitting there, uh, we had done a couple infusions, it was about a month after the infusions of, of the Regen Med stuff and, and structural tissue products that we had done. And uh, two months later, I'm getting ready to go out and rollerblade with my kiddos. And my wife comes up to me and Jen, she's like, I think I want a rollerblade too. <laughs> my, my kids go, uh, they go, mom can rollerblade? <laughs> and I said, yeah, your mom's actually a really good rollerblader. Granted, you have to think about this. I've got, when this happened for like nearly three years, they had only seen their mom having seizures and being bedridden and not being able to function. And they're like, she can do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, she puts on the rollerblades and she rollerblades down the hill. And I'm recording this and my son Look just looks over at me and just raises his arms and is like, yeah. So excited for. And yeah. that was a turning point. Awesome that was the turning point that I'm like, other people need this. There's other people suffering. There's other people that are hurting. It doesn't matter if it's Lyme disease, if it's cancer, if it's an autoimmune condition, we all have a life that, that we deserve to live, that you deserve to live. We have a life that we've been called to. And sometimes diseases and conditions tear us so far down that we feel like there's no hope. And so my mission has become to help people to live their legacy, to, to actually live the life that they deserve to live. And sometimes we're in such a dark place. Trust me, we're in a dark place. We didn't know. In fact, before we did these therapies, when before we started doing, you know, structural tissue infusions and, and even ozone therapy, my wife would look at me and she would say, this isn't going to work. You know how defeating that is. Even for me, I, I'm the fixer. It's like, okay. And I'd be like, we just got to trust it. And it's amazing when you can start to utilize therapies and modalities that build the body up because so much of medicine today is we're going to stop this. We're going to tear this down. We're going to break this down and hopefully you survive through this and hopefully you make it through it. And that's just not the way that we're designed to heal and restore and, and to actually live. And so I started to research and to dive into anything and everything that could actually build the body up because I can tell you and I can promise you that if you are doing therapies and modalities that build you up, that's going to overcome anything else that you have going on or any drug that you're going to put in that's going to create a change. Again, I'm not saying that structural tissue products or even ozone is what actually healed, cured, or treated my wife per se. What I'm saying is we gave her therapies that actually helped to restore her body internally. It did the work. We just gave it to her so that it could restore that environment. And then her body started to do what it needed to do. Um, so from that, 
uh, I actually left my practice as a chiropractor, um, sold that practice, and then opened up about a year and a half later, uh, Regenerative Treatment Centers of Kansas City. I've since sold that as well, but I opened up that clinic because I wanted to have a destination for people to go that were suffering like my wife. And we were blessed that her story got out and people saw her restoration. And so we would have patients come in uh, for therapies. And, and I wanted to have a place that could implement multiple modalities because here's what I truly believe is I do not think that it's one thing that ever creates change within the body for health. I think it's a combination of multiple things. It's never going to be just a multivitamin or a vitamin C bag or an ozone infusion or a rectal encephalation or, or a structural tissue infusion or however you're going to utilize these therapies. I think that we have to have a combination of these to be able to truly restore the body. Because when you have damaged cells, you need to be able to, to restore those. When you have dead and dying cells, zombie cells throughout your body, uh, they need to be detoxed, they need to be revived. And, and there are different modalities that do that. And when we can start to combine some of these things, you know, magic truly happens. Health really happens. Healing and hope really happen. And so I opened up my clinic uh, in Kansas City in April of 2019. And um, yeah, right before COVID hit, um, we made it through that. And um, within that clinic, we were helping patients uh, that were coming in with multiple different uh, ailments, uh, again, from autoimmune disease to Lyme disease to athletes. Uh, we were able to help some of the Kansas City Chiefs. I had uh, professional athletes from all over the world actually coming in and or I would help navigate them to different treatments utilizing therapies uh, like ozone. And, and, and like I've said before, and, and many other things, ozone, um, it's such a beautiful foundational therapy. Um, it creates a foundation, it creates a space within the body once it's utilized and being put in. Not that it's doing the work, but it's allowing the body to do the work that it needs to do to increase the immune system um, and to create restoration. And, and so we utilize this on a regular basis at home. Uh, my wife uses it, I use it. Um, and so, yeah, my mission is to help people to, to, to live their legacy, to live a life of vibrance and abundance. And, and I enjoy doing this. It's, it's a fun process. And, you know, my wife still has her ups and downs. It's healing and health. I will say this, and I always want people to just focus in on this. Healing and health is never a one and done. There is no such thing as a magic bullet. There is not one thing that's going to create a change. There are trigger moments. There are, are pivot moments where you may do a therapy and that transitions your health from here to here, but it's never going to be that one thing and it's never going to end. Not that you have to do all the same things all the time, but I think health is a journey. I think hope is a journey. I think restoration is a journey and we have to keep navigating that and to surround ourselves with people that understand that and that have the knowledge base and to bring those people in so that we can actually begin to create change because we live in a sick, dead and dying uh, society when it comes to our health. We don't have a healthcare system, we have a sick care system and, it, and I'm sick of that. Um, and so my mission is to help to change that, you know, whether it's one physician at a time, one patient at a time, one person at a time. Um, so if this can transform one person's life, that's why I'm here. All yeah. the stuff that ails us wow. and realized we couldn't get pregnant and so insert ozone therapy and within six weeks I was um, um, expecting a baby so. I was too tired not being able to do gymnastics or school to going on a three-month trip, going to Disneyland, going to Yosemite, hiking a six and a half mile hike like this huge mountain up tons of steps and she was totally fine so we just want to thank you because ozone therapy has changed our life. My baseline C-reactive protein was like through the roof that my heart was going to explode at any moment and through six high dose um, ozone, that being like the only thing that I had really focused on before and after testing that is now within normal limits. So it looks like you guys are not getting rid of me anytime soon, which is lovely. Um, and I just am so grateful for my experience. A year and a half ago, I got really sick and I had a lot of autoimmune issues. And I started doing ozone treatments and I noticed like two to three weeks in that I could completely breathe again. I love ozone treatments. I recommend it to everybody. They're amazing. And the first time I did it, I did a rectal insufflation and it was like somebody turned the lights on. My brain fog was gone. My sense of fatigue was no longer existent. I had energy for the first time in so long. Our lives were like a roller coaster we never got on voluntarily. First time she went to an ozone 
therapy session, she went to um, a med spa and had one session and she came out of there in the parking lot and said, mom, my, my derealization has dissipated for the very first time. And as you can see, I'm actually able to put sentences together. I don't have a problem recalling words anymore. She no longer has nausea. She no longer has her headaches. Ozone, just like Dave Asprey, has been the key to our healing. Mm -hmm.